everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy and you're watching Running So and So. And I'm so delighted to be back. I have had such a lovely busy couple of weeks and it's time to share more of what I've been up to with you. Let's start with some thank yous. First of all to Eileen. Thank you so much for that gift of a coffee. It was so kind of you. Thank you so much Eileen. And Eileen, has, you've been such a wonderful supporter and encourager of my channel since I started advising me and giving me top tips. You don't realise how much appreciate it. Thank you so much. And also to everybody who has watched, liked and subscribed to my channel over the past few weeks. Thank you. You do not know what that means to me. This is little old me sitting in a kitchen with my sewing behind me, talking to you about my world of sewing. And I'm thinking if everybody else can do it, so can I. So let's start with Friday Sews. A lovely thing started by Jen from today in Jen's sewing room. Friday Sews theme this week is the coronation and I really don't want to linger on the coronation anymore because I feel as if I've spoken about it a lot other than to give you an update on my coronation quilt. So you've all seen the beautiful centre that I have created for my coronation quilt. You just bring it down, there you go. Bring it back a bit, there we are. You can see me poking out the side to see the screen. So on the coronation quilt I've used a beautiful purple and the rest is embroidered in a gorgeous metallic thread. Now, where it says King Charles III and the crown in the middle is one shade of gold and Coronation, 6th of May 2023, is a slightly different one. I'm just going to peer around as I bring it closer to you, but I don't know if you can see the change in the two colours. Unfortunately, I ran out, so my daughter and I picked the best match. Now, the Coronation logo block will go in the middle here, and as you can see, it's on the 45 degree angle. Whether I get these beautiful features in or not by my careful placement of blocks and squares and triangles, I really don't know. Time will tell. Other than to say, I may have some recutting to do because this centrepiece is quite different. So at the moment, I have just done one row of blocks there. I'm about to start on the second here. These rows here are rows of three blocks. And here is the first one. And you will notice straight away when you look at it that there should be a nice diagonal going down here to pop up down there a lovely line of square gold a lovely line of square gold pieces and you can see it going across there so we've got the soldiers we've decided it doesn't matter if the soldiers are wonky in the middle because they don't always march in straight lines and if it's a hot day they might feel a little bit overcome by the heat so we thought it showed authenticity. I have been working on that and my aim is to do one of those big 12 inch squares at least each weekend. This is a long project and I will be taking it to Oregon with me in August if I haven't quilted it by then and asking Lorianne if I can use the long arm to quilt it. So what else have we been doing? Well, when I knew Lorianne was coming, I thought, Mm, there's a so tune. So I text the lovely Tamlin and she said, of course I can fit you in. I started by saying, you've got two spaces and not telling her anything. And she went, oh, I'm so sorry, Judy. I'll let you know if, if there are spaces. And I said, well, I do need two, which actually alerted her. And she came back and said, why? And I went, shh, Lorianne's coming. Well, in that case, we had two spaces like that. She worked out how she could get two extra tables in. Um, bless her lovely mother Lynn she organised two spaces for us to be next to each other and we actually shared a, a table with Lynn and Lynn is just such the most lovely person and, and I must just say that Lynn and I do mention it in the forthcoming uh, footage Lynn is a relatively new sewer and has been taught by her daughter and that love of sewing and that enthusiasm of a, of a hobby Tamlin and her mum share together it's one that Hannah and I do share and, but I'm a bit more laid back and I'll go, there's the sewing machine, get on with it. When you get stuck, come and tell me. But everybody's different. So we get to sew tune. And the first thing we do very quickly after we get there is Tamlin says, we're going off to first for fabrics. So I'm going to start by inserting the footage of us going to first for fabrics, which was amazing. Yeah. Have, Have you ever been to a lock-in in a fabric shop? Have you ever been to a lock-in in a fabric shop? What is a lock-in? Well, if you look at the door, you've been locked in. Oh, you've been have. locked in. We're not allowed to get out until unless you bought, bought something. At least 
10 metres of fabric. Oh, I'm not going to be buying that much. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you didn't know you were in heaven. This is sewing heaven, right? It's sewing this is sewing heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rachel is in Nana mode. Hello, Nana. <laughs> Hello. What have you seen for the lovely Layla? Um, I'm just liking these cocktails. I don't nice. think Bronte needs to buy anything for this baby, does she? <laughs> I know. And I think I think a little stash now. Well, we knew that. Yeah. I mean, actually, Hannah spotted that and she went, Rachel's got a stash for Layla. Now, just... Ruan is here only because she's on a locking in a fabric shop. Locking in a fabric shop, Ruan. It's your heaven, isn't it? Well, it's got to be the Did, did somebody say you... holiday next week? So you need a holiday wardrobe. Oh, I don't even go there, Judith. I had so many ideas I've made. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, look oh, at the well. double gauze. Look at your double gauzes. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe a different morning. Now I've got a stain on mine. And Nadia is perusing. Which is you trying to decide on more colours. <laughs> what yeah. colour are you going for? I think I'm going to go for the blue. So blue. Blue, well. blue, 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 which one, darling? It's cobalt. It's over there already. Uh, wait, what, what, was it just a plain blue fabric? Yeah. yeah. Well, and what are you going to make with cobalt blue fabric? I don't know. Did you have a fringe dress? Yes, I did. And I've just grieved over it ever since. It, I loved it. It's just, I absolutely adore it. Yeah, so I much. Do too. Mm. I also love this one and this one and this one and oh, so many beautiful. Walked into a YouTube discussion here. Between Tamlin and this lovely young man here at First of Fabrics. Expert folding as well. Mate. Expert folding, expert yeah. measuring. I had a guardian angel on my fabric. Yeah. I needed 2 metres 70. And what did it have? 2, two metres 70. Exactly. Seriously, wow. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, and a few little bits there. Over here, working on fabric cutting. Oh, the tailors. To be shipped the back to the States yeah. is our lovely and Tamlin. Tamlin, I think this is the first time I've ever had you on my channel. Really? Yeah. Well, properly like this. Yes. So Lorianne is buying like a Breton type stripe, which is should be two. Yes, the white stripe should be half the size of the double blue stripe of the blue stripe, which it is. So she's got black and she's got blue, and she's going for a lovely viscose here with uh, spots on and then she's going for the gorgeous fabric here <laughs> that she lost when her bag got lifted so from first for fabrics we come back to sew tune and i have just going to insert a lovely bit of footage and you may have seen some footage on my instagram stories of me scooting around the room and i'm hoping i'm going to remember everybody that i saw and i'm going to put I'm going to tag them as I go around and I'll put them in the description box below. So if you don't follow any of the lovely ladies that pop up, don't forget to check them out on Instagram and check out if they've got a YouTube channel as well. I think Lorianne is having the time of her life. It has, yeah. Absolutely having the time of her life. She's chatting on Judy. I'm not Alison. I'm not so like Dotty. I'm so like Judy. Equally dotty. Thanks, Lynn. I love you too. Okay. Yes, and guess what? Marking I did? your buttonholes, aren't you? I'm yes, I'm mar well, I'm marking my little, little pleats. Where little I need to make pleats. pleats to make a sweetheart neckline because I'm such a sweetheart. <laughs> such a sweetheart. <laughs> this is Mrs. Stone on the time. It is, yes. Mrs. I'm no longer a person, I'm now someone's mum. But I'm very proud to be Tamlin's mum. You always are Tamlin's mum. <laughs> immensely proud to be Tamlin's mum. You are Tamlin's mum. <laughs> and then you've got to remember that Lynn's been taught to sew by Tamlin. So it doesn't matter how old you are or when you want to start, you can start to sew. Indeed so. And I've just been able to show Tamlin's mum something. <laughs> yes. And we've got over here, we've got some Northern Soul Sisters over there, but we're missing one, so we'll come back to them in a minute. Just going around, just around, just around the room. And I was like, um, I don't think so. So where are we going here? Hey, Nadia. And Vicky. And I'm Lucy, and I'm going to run out of juice. Oh, it's going to run out of juice. Emma's on. I'm trying to grab everybody before I run out. Oh, I have got Northern Soul Sisters now. 
Come on, ladies, let's have a Northern Soul Sisters wave. Hello. 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 So what a lovely day in Sotun. We had such the most amazing time. And from there, Michelle, who is small smiley on Instagram, excuse me, said, why don't you come to my house for a cup of tea? So off we trot to Whitley Bay and we had the most lovely cup of tea with, Mich with Michelle, her husband Simon and her daughter Chloe. And I'm just going to insert some footage of us in Michelle's sewing room. It's, it's a bit, dis hopefully not too disjointed, but this is dedicated to Chloe. Chloe, you are now officially a YouTube star. So basically, we're at Mishi's house. Oh. Hi, Mishi. And uh, this is Chloe. Do you don't mind being on, do you, Chloe? No. <laughs> this is Chloe, and we've been allowed into Mishi's sewing room. And oh my gosh, it is idyllic. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. So what have we got over here behind Chloe? What is this? Oh, this is thing. gorgeous. Oh, it's an inner this. Is it dedicated embroidery? Yeah. You can't do anything else on no. it? No, no. I thought you could Because, no, the V3 is just embroidery. V5 does both. Oh, wow. And we've got cutting out space here. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, look at that. The basket yeah. has the this, same... This one here? Yes. It's got a little singer in it. That my mum used to have in the oh, 90s. Really? You know what you're going to have to do now? You're going to have to get it out. Quilt. Yeah. Um, so she had that in the 90s. And when I learnt to quilt, she um, lent it to me. When she passed away, I forgot about it. And it got cleared. Yes. So I ended up buying it myself. I bought another one. An eBay. Yeah. I did decide I was going to try and take Laurie Ann down the East Coast when we got to Whitley Bay. But unfortunately, when we got towards the bay and down towards Tynemouth Bay, <laughs> the sea fret came in and it just went completely misted over. And the minute we turned away from the coast, the sun came out and I thought, that is just so typically British. On Monday, we went to Castle Howard, which is the most beautiful, beautiful stately home, not far from me in York. Exactly. But we just went round the grounds, we went round the house, we had the most beautiful laid back, um, wander around the house. We enjoyed, we enjoyed a cup of tea and uh, a bowl of soup. And from there we went into the grounds to try and find the peacocks. Okay. You go on the staircase. This is your grand staircase. Just in the uh, West Passageway linking one half of our castle to another. It's from the new wing at the end behind us down there, linking ourselves down here. Peacocks. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I think it's a young bird because it doesn't seem to have the eye feathers down the back. But they aren't, the wings aren't clipped, they're free to come and go. Right, we're moving on to Marks and Spencers. Today's supermarket of choice, Marks and Spencers. What we're looking for, Lorian? Oh, coated fish. You want that one? Okay, that's lovely. Off we go. She's back. Right, off we go. Right, where else we have a look down there? You want a little bit of clothes? Off she goes. She's like a woman on a mission. Been to Marks and Spencer's for a while. Have you? Nothing to do with tennis shoes today. No tennis shoes, she's lost her voice actually. It's been really quiet in the car. Really quiet. Really quiet. She's got laryngitis. Getting very good at the sign language. <laughs> right, off you go. I think I need to stop recording. I think she might be a while. So that took us to Tuesday. This is very much a diary vlog. That took us to Tuesday. And what did we do on Tuesday? We went to yet another sewing evening. I discovered that the gorgeous Sam, who is Frugalissima, 
was holding one of her amazing sewing socials over in her studio in Horbury. So I text Sam and I said, you've got two spaces, can I have them please? And Ali, who is Thimbers, and you may remember Ali from The Sewing Beats. She's the lovely, bubbly Yorkshire lady who was on The Sewing Bee. Uh, Ali was trying to sell them to her and she had to go, they've gone, they've gone. And it was me that had grabbed them. So basically, um, we went over to that and we had the most amazing time. And Laurie-Anne threw herself into The Sewing Social just superbly. I'm just going to let the footage run in a minute of what we got up to at Sam's. We're just carrying on with the theme of Lorianne coming to a sewing sofa. And now she's like helping me with the Lorianne. Is it gone together? Let's have a look. I need to iron Oh, you love it, I love it, I love it. I better get going for the next one. My friend's already made it and it's lovely because it's got lots of sensory and tactile things on. Yes, so it's an activity absolutely. world. Yes. It is absolutely great. Yeah. Except the instructions in terms of block sizes are not consistent and oh joy oh joy of joy is there any chance of getting it from them the instructions from the calls oh we've got them instructions Joanne from oh, Joanne and Stitches here and you've made a polka dot palace flat front and skirt oh it's beautiful I love the sagebrush top by the way you didn't get inspired to use double gauze yeah. by Ruan, did you? I did actually. You did, yeah. It was, a pretty, yeah. it was a pretty darn good, splendid vlog, that. So after Sam's, what did we do? Well, Lorian was desperate to cut out a fringe dress in the most beautiful fabric that she bought in First for Fabrics. And there is a story behind this fringe dress. Sadly, when she came home from her last trip out of the United States, her suitcase disappeared. And we have to only presume that it was stolen. And one of the dresses she had was a fringe dress in this particular fabric that you can see Lorianne cutting it out in up here. And this fabric she got from her Think Pink box and she loved the dress. Thankfully First for Fabrics had the fabric and she was able to buy some more and cut out the dress. We then moved on to cut out my fringe dress, which I'm going to put a picture of, half cut out, just up here, which using the Think Pink fabric from this month's Think Pink box and I too am going to be making a fringe dress out of that. So Lorianne has now moved on and as I record this she is in Essex at the Beautiful Things HQ or BTHQ sewing retreat weekend and she's staying with one of her other lovely friends from the United Kingdom and I know that on Thursday she spent the most amazing day with Andy from So Andy Sews. So that just leaves me where I am now. Well, as you can see, I have got a rather a lot of stuff next to me. Let me just tilt my camera around this way so you can see the amount of stuff that I have got. I'm just making certain you can, I can see the amount of stuff that I have got. The first thing I've got here is the most lovely, and I'm a bit reluctant to always buy from Rainbow Fabrics in Kilburn, but this came up and oh my goodness me, it screamed Nick's dress at me. On the subject of the Nick's dress, I'm going to put a link in my description box below. I have done a vlog for the beautiful Jenny from Jenny Stitches for her store, and I have made a Nick's dress. Now, some of you will have seen me wearing it. Let's put a little picture of me wearing it just here. It is the most beautiful dress, so do check out that blog on Jenny Stitches web page and also uh, she will have a link to the fabric that I use. It is a cosmos lawn. It's absolutely beautiful. But I'm rather hoping that this is a can be a Nyx dress. And I am going on a sewing retreat next weekend and that is what I will be making because on this sewing retreat I will have to take my old Elna sewing machine. Dress. When we were at First for Fabrics last weekend I bought the now it could be the tack Tackier, tackier pattern. There you go. So it could be the tackier dress by named patterns, or it could be the taker dress by named patterns. It depends on how you wish to use those sounds and in which order. But I am going to make it in this, which is so similar to the fabric that Laurie-Anne had for her dress. And this was one of the other colorways that came in the Think Pink box. Now I am very much a blue person, but I will always use the fabric I get in my um, subscription boxes because sometimes you just have to push yourself a little bit. But this is one of my favourite fabrics. 
But while I was at First for Fabrics, I saw this. I'm going to stand up. It's not a fabric I would ordinarily see myself wearing and not one that I would ordinarily buy. But it is just unbelievably beautiful. It's a viscose jersey and it, it's in a very Mizzoni-esque print. So I'm thinking for my trip to Oregon in August, maybe I need another kilo wrap dress. So I have been very naughty and I have bought something else. I have bought one of Adam's beautiful caddies. I mean, look at it. Is oh, please excuse the fabric inside it, which is yet more blue bananas. Is that not just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Is it not? But I must tell you about unboxing it. So I unboxed it at work. I unboxed this at work. And the children didn't know what it was. Now, bearing in mind I work with four and five year olds and there's a game, it's called What's in the Box. So it was What's in the Box. Now, one of them recognised Watson on the, on the box. So they said, Mrs Watson, it's for you. So we went outside and unboxing it went like this. Who's it from? Adam. Adam likes sellotape. I know, I said, but he has to be safe. Did Adam use a lot of sellotape? I don't think Adam wanted you to get into it. We open the box. Oh, Adam will be pleased. We get into the box. Has Adam actually put anything in here? And Adam has this beautiful tissue paper. Let me just reach over and grab it. With lots of little stickers on it. And the stickers say, Adam sews. So I say to the children, Adam has his own stickers. Oh, they say, Adam likes stickers. Then the box, the caddy comes out and they go very quiet and they go, did Adam make that for you? It's brilliant. You've just got to love children, haven't you? You've just got to love them. So I am going to stop waffling and I'm going to take this into the living room. I'm going to try and edit this and get it up tonight. Well, tonight for me, maybe sometime tomorrow for you guys, depending on how the little mice are working on my internet treadmill. So now it's time for me to say goodbye for this vlog and I will see you again for the next week's Friday So, because I know what the theme is going to be. I'm going to record that because on Friday I'm going off on my sewing retreat and I will tell you next week exactly where it is that I'm going. Some of you might already know. But for now, thank you so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, just click that subscribe button. Give me a like and better still, write me a little comment and put it down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you soon.